Spraying insecticides indoors at identified virus hotspots reduced the transmission of dengue virus by up to 96%, according to a new study of an outbreak in Cairns, Australia. The research was published in the open access journal Science Advances. Aedes aegypti mosquitoes, the vector of dengue, mainly rest indoors. This severely limits the usefulness of interventions like track-mounted insecticide sprays. Indoor residual spraying, while less frequently used due to cost and time requirements, can last for months. Here, researchers wanted to understand if indoor spraying at carefully selected targeted locations where the virus was thought to be transmitted could be worthwhile. Gonzalo Vasquez Prokopek and colleagues studied public health data from 902 confirmed cases of dengue during the 2008-2009 Cairns epidemic. During the epidemic, the largest in history for the city, Queensland's health response program included contact tracing, where nurses interviewed dengue patients to identify likely dengue exposure sites. Health workers then sprayed insecticides in many households within 100 meters of these sites. As the epidemic progressed, targeted indoor residual spraying reached 5,428 locations over 31 weeks. The data revealed a complex transmission pattern driven primarily by humans moving the virus across the metropolitan area as they engaged in their daily routines. Critically, the researchers found that targeted indoor spraying decreased dengue transmission by 86% when all cases were considered and by 96% when excluding cases where dengue symptoms appeared within 10 days of spraying, since transmission likely occurred prior to the intervention. The findings show the possible positive impact of combining contact tracing with residual spraying within a developed urban center. Targeting potential mosquito exposure sites, as officials in Cairns did, could be used to curb other mosquito-borne illnesses like Zika, 